I mean, I know we've talked about this, but um, I did some stuff with Blink One Eighty Two. Yeah, and that was that was totally random. That was not through Wayne or Guy or anyone, but um, through a friend of mine from a bar. Um, we just became fast friends, and he was doing all of Travis Barker's um, videos for like Famous Stars and Straps yeah. and um, his various companies and his. I don't know if you remember, like back in the day, he would do those like remixes where he, of course, would, would just just drumming, yeah, yeah. But drummer like, boy, yeah, yeah, all that shit, yeah. Um, and so I became friendly with him, and through that relationship, um, that was when Blink decided to get back together because that they, they were broken up at the time. And I was like, hey man, it'd be cool to shoot a getting back together documentary, yeah. With them. And we went and shot that, and I was through the process of shooting that even though it never came out, um, showing Wayne some of that footage got me in the door to go and shoot the stuff with him. And so, so before we get to that, right, let's talk <laughs> sure. about the experience of Blink-182, right? What was like, so, you know, from meeting the guy in the bar and doing all of that, eh, what was that experience like with Blink-182? Did you go on tour with them or? Yeah, basically it's... Um, so Haven Haven was basically Travis's videographer. Um, he shot all the things that we just yeah. discussed. And um, when they decided to get back together, we we came up with this idea. Haven pitched it to the band. He went to each of the members and was like, "Hey, you guys do because they they announced that they're getting back together, and then they were going to go do a you know a, a world tour basically." Yeah. Um. So he pitched it to them. They were down with it, and it was just basically me and Haven with some cameras, and uh, we started out at the forum. It was the first time, I think I'd met Mark before, but um, that was the first time meeting everybody, and they did tour rehearsals at the forum, I think, for like two weeks. Shit. Um, so just, yeah, it was, it, was, it was basically just hit the ground running kind of thing. And how long did you go with them? Um, I, th- I can't remember. Uh, it, we we filmed. I was still working at the post house. I was um, Haven was on the road with them, so I, I wasn't able to go to all the dates. But I went to quite a few of the American dates. It's so funny. It's because like they didn't pay us to do it. If that makes yeah. sense. They were just like, "Here's your tour laminates. Come shoot well, whatever you guys go. want." Kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. Um. So whenever I could, we'd go film together. And then I remember me and Haven like. I remember like transferring him like two grand or something so that he could get out to Europe to go capture those dates as well. No way, man. I mean, yeah. shit, dude. Who so cares? It was like you self, that? you know, yeah. we didn't, we didn't have a lot of money, but it was like, dude, we have, dude, it's Blink-182. Yeah. Like we, such a good, have, yeah. It was, that was the thing. It wasn't like, it's so funny looking back at it now that I've produced and directed and done like proper, like, proper shows yes. with a budget and all the stuff like we were just like winging it they were just like yeah yeah here's the key <laughs> you guys do your thing whatever it is i mean but how many people really ever get those experiences right and like mm-hmm. a lot of people like i don't have the money or this or that yeah. and the other but it's just like dude once again your life is a blink of an eye so it's like if blink 182 says fuck let's let's do this right and you know whatever you're not gonna get paid but you can follow us around and do it like what, the, what man yeah. like why not it was a rad experience man it was uh so funny like i've seen like the blink humanity is like something on the internet i think it was like voted like one of the like top 10 documentaries that never came out kind of thing because we ended up we i think we filmed with them for like a year on and off okay um and i mean i went to uh, Tom's place out in San Diego and shot with him there and Mark out here. The the one thing that we could never like pin down was getting an interview with Travis. And then um, it was so funny. Like we, but we were on the road and we got all like, and we were like editing some at the same time as we were filming. So we're putting things together, sending it to them. They dug it like, um, but it just kept going. Cause we weren't quite sure what the trajectory of the, film was if that makes sense like you have this we came back together i think by the time we were close to finishing they broke up again (laughs) that's like (laughs) 
we had like a giant screening at the label like with like 40 of the execs like it was like we were like on the no way we on the five yard line or whatever yeah and um i think after that like tom kind of bounced again and it was it was kind of dead in the water, dude. You guys got to make a, like a two part thing of them like getting back together, <laughs> breaking up, getting back together, <laughs> totally. right? Like that. Give me yours. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know. <laughs>